From space, Earth appears to be a borderless world dominated by a single intelligent species. But looks are deceiving. Humanity has been plagued by international conflicts and epic power plays since the dawn of time. Let's face it, the human race has made some very stupid decisions. And as our technology progresses, we're going to have some human that's going to press the button that launches that nuclear weapon. And what's going to happen? You have a nuclear holocaust. Could an alien threat force humans to form a united front? Join us as we investigate why a united Earth may be our only chance for survival in the face of an alien invasion on Unsealed Alien Files. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades, detailing every UFO account, are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unsealed Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. February 15th, 2013. The 2012 DA-14 asteroid passes within 17,000 miles of Earth, closer than any object in recorded history. A hundred feet in diameter, it is 40,000 metric tons of solid space rock. Its impact would have been almost 200 times the power of the atomic blast that leveled Hiroshima. The destruction would be catastrophic. Over 100 million objects of the same size float in the vicinity of the Earth. Confronted with devastating possibilities, the United Nations forms a committee on the peaceful uses of outer space. They begin planning for emergencies caused by the impact of meteors or other objects from space. Cooperation in the face of disaster is one matter. But can humanity rise above their differences in the face of alien contact? And if so, who would speak on behalf of humanity? September 2010. Rumors circulate through the media. The UN is allegedly on the verge of appointing the first Earth ambassador in history. Maslan Othman. A Malaysian astrophysicist is to be the first point of contact for humanity and extraterrestrials. Othman is quoted as saying, We should have in place a coordinated response. The United Nations are a ready-made mechanism for such coordination. On the eve of the announcement, Othman suddenly denies she is to be our alien ambassador. The UN has no comment. Is this a cover-up? Could Othman's appointment have been contested by powerful nations seeking to control alien contact? However, this is not the first international disagreement regarding extraterrestrial life. 1945. The United Nations has emerged from the ashes of World War II. Its very existence is based on promoting peace and global security and preventing another world war. This hope is short-lived as another more subversive conflict begins almost immediately, the Cold War. Russia and the United States closely monitor each other's military deployments. This stalemated conflict reveals the terrifying existence of a new inhuman threat to both nations and the entire human race. Unsealed case file, the Kapustin Yar incident. 1948, June 16th, Kapustin Yar, Soviet Union. An experimental plane is being test blown when the pilot makes visual contact with a strange craft. Radar also picks up the unknown object and orders the pilot to bring it down, peacefully or with force. A NICAP document states, a banana or cucumber-shaped object with beams of light was tracked on radar when it descended across the course of the Russian test pilot. Receiving no response to his demands to land, the pilot prepares to fire. 
a beam of light shoots out of the UFO, disabling the aircraft and blinding the pilot. When his vision clears, the object is gone. He guides the disabled plane to a safe landing. The plane is examined, and although drained of power, it is undamaged. The government immediately covers up the event. Kapustin Yar remained classified for decades. Despite the agreement by all members of the UN to share information regarding threats to international security, evidence of alien life is still shrouded in secrecy. The United Nations represents the closest humanity has ever been to global unity. Was it formed to save humanity from itself or from an alien threat? Four years after the formation of the UN, a smaller, more combat-oriented force is created. NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, bands the militaries of 14 nations together. The policy of NATO states, an attack on one NATO country is an attack on all. Was this organization formed just in time? 1952. NATO launches a series of combat drills and scenarios designed to simulate an attack by Soviet forces. But what they encounter is no simulation. Operation Mainbrace begins September 13, 1952. The first evening, hundreds of troops aboard the Danish destroyer Willemos observe a glowing triangular object flying over the ship. The object suddenly accelerates into the night sky. Military witnesses estimate it took off at over 900 miles an hour, faster than any aircraft of the time. Despite multiple eyewitnesses, no official acknowledgement of the encounter exists. But shocking incidents like the one witnessed by hundreds from the deck of the Danish destroyer was only the beginning. Unsealed case file, the top cliff sighting. September 19, 1952, six days after the Willemo sighting, a British RAF pilot returns from a training exercise. The pilot approaches RAF Topcliff base in Yorkshire as dozens of witnesses watch in horror. A massive silver disc comes into view as if pursuing the aircraft. Civilian and military witnesses report the UFO showed incredible maneuverability swinging in behind and underneath the fighter with ease. Military witnesses are in shock. No known aircraft can execute those kinds of maneuvers. The incident alarms the British military and parliament. The abilities of the UFOs pose possible threats that need to be taken seriously. Many pilots reported strange objects following them, lighted balls following them, diving with them, coming up with them, and following them back to base. But the mysterious sightings also shine a spotlight on the political divide that exists between the world superpowers. Both sides of the Cold War are engaged in a lethal arms race, amassing stockpiles of nuclear weapons. The world hangs dangerously on the edge of mutual destruction. Jets have been scrambled on several occasions to counter what was believed to be Russian forces mounting an aerial assault on NATO targets. Several encounters are reported not to be hostile military forces, but UFOs. How many times has the world been brought to the brink of nuclear annihilation? And how long would it be allowed to continue? The answer may lie in an above top secret report classified by NATO. Unsealed case file. The assessment. 1963, NATO HQ. Command Sergeant Robert O. Dean uncovers a puzzling series of over 500 documents titled The Assessment. The document states, our planet and the human race have been studied by several different extraterrestrial civilizations. Four of these races have been identified visually. The document's title is simple but its contents are not. It becomes clear to Dean the assessment is Earth's plan 
for countering alien invasion. According to Dean, the revelations of the assessments were so shocking, only 12 copies were made. It details an escalating series of human alien encounters, reporting a carefully orchestrated program of some kind seemed to be underway. It began with flybys, then landings, and eventually culminated in contact. Is this alien agenda about peaceful contact or preparing for an invasion of Earth? The most terrifying pages of the assessment detail a report of a NATO encounter from 1961. According to the report, Allied radar stations discovered multiple aircraft above Europe at an altitude of 100,000 feet, approaching from the direction of the Soviet Union. But unknown to NATO at the time, the Russians detect a similar force approaching Soviet airspace nine minutes later, triggering the unimaginable, a countdown to an all-out nuclear war. The counterattack launch sequence begins, but suddenly the radar screen is clear. Pilots on scene report the fleets were not enemy forces, but UFOs. Total destruction is only narrowly averted. NATO officially denies the existence of the assessment document. It would take years before someone would finally come forward. Despite global coalitions dedicated to the security of the human race, the public has been left in the dark about events that concern the security of all life on Earth. But one man finally forced the issue out of the shadows. Unsealed case file, UN General Assembly decision 33-426. 1978, Eric Gehry, president of Grenada, brings the issue of UFOs before the UN. He proposes the establishment of a department of the UN for undertaking, coordinating, and disseminating the results of research into unidentified flying objects. His pursuit of the truth about alien life stems from a personal experience. President Gary witnessed a strange body discovered on a Grenada shore outside a small fishing village. The corpse was humanoid, but certainly not human. Its height was over seven feet and had six fingers on each hand. President Gary lobbies the UN for two years, producing documents and witnesses, like former NASA astronaut Gordon Cooper. The UK also tried to block Gary's UFO proposal at the UN. What were they attempting to hide? Or was this done on behalf of the UK's biggest military partner, the United States? Many documents exist suggesting the UK's Ministry of Defense and the United States government both have a great deal to hide on the subject of UFOs. But all attempts to block Gary's proposal were futile, and in an unprecedented vote, the UN finally heeds Gary's advice. Quote, the General Assembly has taken note of the draft resolution submitted by Grenada at the 33rd session of the General Assembly regarding unidentified flying objects and related phenomena. But on the verge of the UN passing his historic UFO proposal, President Gary is forced into exile. His government is overthrown by a military coup. Was his government toppled to prevent a united search for alien life? Many UFO experts believe alien-human treaties are already in place, arranged by a handful of powerful nations seeking to control the future of humanity. Is this possible? Does an alien presence already exist? And are humans considered too primitive to openly contact? There is so much evidence that our world is in decline. We have strange weather patterns, polar shifts. I mean, it's obvious that we are one step away from total destruction. Alien races could be here to save us or slaughter us. As long as we're in the dark, we're at their mercy. 
Many world governments may be already aware of this fact and are taking steps to bring the subject of extraterrestrials into the light. Since the year 2000, almost 30 nations have declassified information on UFO activity. There were a number of reasons why the British government decided to release these files. One reason was that the MOD was getting more UFO requests under the Freedom of Information than on any other subject. It also was the case that in 2007, the French government had declassified their UFO files. When the government says that they're releasing information about UFOs, people should sit up and take notice. Uh, if just one of these sightings turns out to be the real thing, our world changes forever. The moment of full disclosure about alien life on Earth could be close at hand. But endless global strife makes it clear that world unification doesn't appear to be a priority for all nations' governments. The wait for undeniable proof of alien contact may finally be over. But has it come too late for planet Earth? Alexei Arbatov is head of the Center for International Security of the Russian Academy of Science. He believes that President Putin's new vision for Russia expands Russia's military capabilities by creating a coalition with China, making the United States their number one enemy again. Putin's alleged fear is that the US and its NATO allies will invade Russia. Is the threat real or is a larger one looming beyond the borders of our planet? An Earth divided by war weakens its ability to fight and creates an easy target for alien races that have us on their radar. At this very moment, an aggressive alien species may be monitoring Earth for signs of vulnerability. An invasion could happen at any time. How would we confront such a monumental event? The answer may have already been expressed in a famous UN speech made by US President Ronald Reagan. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.